Greetings, believers and non-believers. This is Rabbit Ape. What's up? Jesus Freak. Jesus Freak. Jesus Freak. Oh, man. You had to go there, didn't you? You just had to go there. All right, so, uh, yeah, I'm back in school. It's Tuesday. I'm really tired. Okay, I don't really have the bandwidth to give this, you know, the original response it deserves. But, man, oh, man, there's a really good post on uh, richarddawkins.net. And also, uh, you know, it's pretty much in the same ballpark, but check the video that I posted as a response. And if Jesus Freak didn't approve it, <laughs> I'll put it over here. Um, that's more more for, for us than for you, Jesus Freak. But, uh, you know, us, you, yeah. Anyway, um, got a post from Atticus of Amber. Um, and this is, yeah, I'm just going to read this off. This is way better than I could ever say, so... It may surprise you to hear that my primary target isn't religion, or even theism as such. Indeed, as I'll explain later, there are some forms of religion, and even some rare forms of theism, specifically deism, with which I have very little problem at all. So what is my problem? My problem is with dogma, with the belief that it is acceptable, even admirable, to believe propositions without good evidence, or without good reasons for believing those propositions to be true. The forms those dogmatically believed propositions can take are potentially infinite. One might dogmatically believe in the historical inevitability of a communist utopia under which the state will wither away after a brief but necessary period of a dictatorship of the proletariat. One might dogmatically believe in the existence of something called the Aryan race, in its inherent superiority to all the other races, and in the inherent inferiority and perfidity of the Jewish race. One might dogmatically believe that the creator of the universe called one's religion to convert the world or take it by force through holy war, that death in defense of or attempt to reconquer land so acquired is the greatest of all actions, and that such martyrs will go to paradise after they die to be attended by 72 virgin brides and joined in due course by all their family and loved ones. Or one might dogmatically believe that the creator of the universe condemns contraception as a mortal sin. What all four of these beliefs have in common is that there is very little or no evidence for them, and that there is much good evidence against them. Yet all four beliefs have at times been passionately, ardently believed, and acted upon by otherwise rational, sane, and educated people often resulting in those same people performing some of the most irrational, insane, and barbaric acts imaginable. Thankfully, fascist, Nazi, and communist dogmas have been so discredited that almost no one believes them anymore. That is a development to be celebrated. But as the events of New York and Washington, D.C., and Bali, and Madrid, and London demonstrate, as demonstrated by the genocidally stupid anti-contraceptive policies of the Catholic Church in Africa, and the homicidally stupid stem cell policies of Christian churches in the U.S., religious dogmas are alive and kicking and at work in the world. Reason and evidence and empiricism and science and liberal democracy, in short, the forces of the Enlightenment, have destroyed communist and fascist dogmas. Now it is time to do the same to the dogmas of religious faith. You know, whatever labels you want to throw around on people, you know, be it theist, atheist, believer, non-believer, Christian, Muslim, Jew, secularist, you know, um, you're going to be able to find people in any demographic doing good things, doing bad things, and, uh, you know, I, I'm not suggesting that, you know, what we need to do is weigh out, you know, all the bad things that have been done and see, you know, count up where the demographics are and all the good things and, you know, let's balance it out. Um, I'm, I'm more concerned about, um, you know, people doing things specifically because of, you know, their belief in Proposition X, Y, or Z. It's been said before uh, by, you know, Sam Harris, it's worth saying again that, you know, the, the, the problem with... Stalin and Mao and Pol Pot wasn't that they were against religion, it's that they were too much like religion. And they were dogmatic, cruel, intolerant, irrational. Um, these, uh, the, the killing fields and the gulag were not the result of people being too demanding of evidence or being too reluctant to accept dogma. You know, that's, that was not the problem there. So, uh, yeah.
So let me ask you this, Jesus Freak. What good has dogma done for society? What good has accepting propositions on insufficient evidence done for us? Also, <laughs> I answered your invitation to atheists. I never heard back from you. What's up with that? 